Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share a fall floral pumpkin centerpiece idea. I got everything from Dollar Tree except for the hot glue and spray paint, which I will link down below if you're interested. As always, feel free to substitute and use whatever items you already have on hand or whatever is available in a store near you. With that being said, I'm starting with two of these orange foam pumpkins that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be using a metallic rose gold color spray paint although you could use a regular gold a copper color or whatever you prefer you'll want to completely cover your pumpkins I'm leaving one pumpkin the rose gold color but the other one I decided to use some leftover white paint from one of those kids painting sets this one also happens to be from Dollar Tree it was left over from one of my daughter's painting kits and I'm just gonna put a little of that white paint onto a kitchen sponge and dab and sponge the white paint all over this pumpkin lightly. You know, I should have actually taken my pumpkin stem off before I did this, but I forgot to do that. Either way, it doesn't matter, it's fine because the whole top is actually gonna end up getting covered anyway. So once the paint is on there how you like it, set your pumpkins aside to dry completely. I think I put the paint on this one a little too heavily and it kind of like ate into the styrofoam a little bit, but that's okay. Honestly, you know, I almost think it kind of gives it a more realistic texture. Okay, next you'll need two of these green foam circles and we're using hot glue around the smaller side of it and gluing that on top of the pumpkin where we removed the stem just like that. You want the wider half to be sticking up because that's gonna give us more space to cover with flowers. And then before I get started filling in with the flowers, let me just show you what I used. I used a combination of flowers. Some I was only able to find like one bunch of, so if I liked that one, I just would end up like splitting it between both arrangements, or you could use it in one, not in the other, and just make them a little bit different, however you wanna do it. But I was really looking for a combination of pinks and purples, and I think I used one bunch of these cream-colored dahlias, two bunches of these pink dahlias, two bunches of, I don't know, what are these, black-eyed Susans? Two bunches of peach roses, one bunch of this, I don't know, it says hop bush, one bunch each of burgundy and peach-colored peonies, and one bunch each of, I don't remember what they called this one, echinacea, I think. Also, one bunch of this purple Halloween roses, and two bunches of dark blue hydrangea. I like that they have a little bit of a purpley tinge and I think that it goes with the mauve pinks purple burgundy tones that I'm using for these fall arrangements. Go ahead and mix and match your flowers and make your arrangements now. I absolutely love how these turned out. I am so in love with these colors this fall. They were such a fun alternative to traditional fall colors. You guys know how much I'm loving the mauve tones this year, especially if you saw my home tour recently. And this idea is especially perfect if you're looking to do a wedding centerpiece or maybe a floral arrangement for your entryway, coffee table, or even as a gift. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, let me know any video requests you have for seasonal decor ideas. If there's anything that you're hoping to see, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon in the next one. Bye.